Operations and Report with News, Views, and Info to Go. I'm Christina Rasban. And I'm Sarah Fenton. This week's episode will begin with a detailed look at CSUF's new basketball coach, as well as the school's new bike program. We'll then dive into the changes being made in high-impact learning, and then unwrap the Titan Toy Drive. Lastly, we'll discuss the recently approved budget proposal and the new Christmas comedy here at Cal State Fullerton. Diedrich Taylor, who previously coached basketball at Arizona State, just recently signed on to be the new men's basketball coach for Cal State Fullerton. While CSUF ended their previous season on a downbeat, this season will hopefully improve with Taylor's new program, Titan City. In four of the past seven seasons, Taylor has led his Arizona team to over 20 victories. Growing up in Pomona and watching his sister graduate from CSUF has allowed Taylor to adjust well to his new position here on campus. Aside from him, the team itself will be almost entirely new this year and will hopefully reign in a new season of success, with better defense being the ultimate priority. Taylor states how, with his implementation as head coach, his goal is to not only usher in a new positive identity for his team, but also a positive identity for the university and community. As the 11th head coach in this program, he and his team will start off the new season this month. I like the new coach's goal in encouraging a more positive identity for the team. I'm sure he's more than up to the challenge. Located in front of the Student Recreation Center and Clay's Performing Arts Center, new bike kiosks have been installed by the bike sharing company Bike Nation. For 30 minute increments, students can purchase a pass at one of these kiosks on campus. Currently, the school is contracted to implement 15 stations and 165 bikes to share, with an additional 35 stations and 350 more bikes coming in later. Due to the low amount of funding being distributed, Fullerton's road infrastructure is at a devastatingly low point, leading to this increase in bicycle proclivity. Other than the need for repavement, Fullerton roads are hard up for the reorganization and have even come to the attention of the Southern California Association of Governments. With bicycles being a new tool in this reorganization process, the SCAG has given a grant to the city of Fullerton to create a bike boulevard on Wilshire Avenue. Other than helping the Fullerton road infrastructure, riding a bike is an eco-friendly form <laughs> of transportation. With research indicating an increase in the overall success rate of high-impact learning, President Mildred Garcia is seeking to promote experiential learning practices at Cal State Fullerton. This includes hands-on learning devices such as internships, service learning, and undergraduate research. In turn, one of the university's underlying goals is to get a minimum of 75% of students engaged in two experiential learning programs by the time they graduate. Coming up, we'll discuss the Titan Toy Drive, the approved CSU budget proposal, and the new Christmas comedy at CSUF. Stick around, we'll be right back. Titan TV is a student-operated facility maintained by students. It's on the Cal State Fullerton campus, and it's a great opportunity for Cal State Fullerton students to get hands-on experience directly in a studio environment. Working with Titan TV puts me in this professional environment. Everyone here is really fun to work with, and everyone just gets along so well. I'm having a great time. Titan Radio is Cal State Fullerton's own radio station located in the basement of the public library. Students can stop by and pick up an application during our burning hours. Anyone who has a computer and internet can listen to us www.titanradio.org. A lot of people who want to pursue TV and film usually start out in radio, so it's always a great opportunity. is holding their annual toy drive through December 12th. The toy drive will benefit underprivileged children in Orange County. Members of the community can participate by visiting the toy drive train display in the Titan Student Union Lobby. There, a child's name and age can be chosen from the display. 
Then participants will be asked to purchase an age-appropriate gift and bring the unwrapped gift to TSU Information and Services by December 12th. Members of the Irvine campus can participate by choosing a child's name from the snowman display at the Irvine campus. Irvine participants can drop off their unwrapped gifts at the Student Affairs Office, room 115, by December 5th. Financial donations are also accepted. The funds will be used to purchase gifts, which will then be distributed later in December. I'm sure these donations will make a lot of kids happy this holiday season. Despite Governor Brown's opposition towards the CSU budget increase, an additional $237.6 million was approved by the CSU Board of Trustees for the Cal State system. If passed, this increase will bring the total CSU budget to $4.6 billion. Initially, the original plan was to increase the budget by only 10% of the 2013 to 2014 school year. However, with the new increase, Governor Brown remains even more skeptical about the distribution of the money, asking whether it will go towards new students, faculty pay, or different enterprise. Breaking down the new budget, each Cal State University would increase their student enrollment by 5%, culminating around an additional 20,000 students. $13 million will go towards hiring 500 more full-time staff members, and the rest going towards online courses and professional staff advisors, as well as system backlog and infrastructure needs. That's definitely good news for everyone involved in the Cal State system. Higher education is definitely becoming more of a necessity to get a career in this day and age. The CSU Theater Department will be performing a satire of the classic play, A Christmas Carol. Created by Daniel Sullivan, Inspecting Carol will be performed from November 22nd through December 15th in the James Young Theater of the Clays Performing Arts Center. This new play will feature a twist on the Christmas comedy in which a man auditioning at a small theater is sought out as an informer for the National Endowment for the Arts. Due to this error, the man is given a leading role in the theater's production of A Christmas Carol. However, due to his lack of actual acting abilities, the production is sent down a surprising and unexpected path. Tickets can be purchased for $11 at the door and $10 with an advanced Titan discount. And that wraps up this week's episode of The Report with news, views, and info to go. I'm Christina Rasband. And I'm Sarah Fenton. Have a great week.